South Dakota's COVID-19 cases have more than doubled since Monday. As of this morning, the health department reported 12 more cases, bringing the statewide total to 58. And it could only get worse. Governor Kristi Noem doesn't expect coronavirus to peak until late May or early June. At the same time, she's preparing for next week's veto day, where the budget will be a big topic. Kelloland's Travis Fossing has the story. Governor Kristi Noem has been talking with health care providers not only about coronavirus, but also about surge capacity. We know that we will have a peak infection rate in the future, and we are preparing to make sure that our hospital systems can handle that when it comes, and that we'll have the beds available, the equipment available, and the staff available to make sure that we're serving those people that will need health care. As a governor gathers information from state, local, and federal officials, she's also preparing to meet with legislators at next week's veto day. Every single one of the bills that we are bringing has an emergency clause on it. That means that as soon as they do pass them and I sign them into law, they will be enacted. Uh, typically, a bill doesn't get enacted until July 1st. That is not going to be true for these bills. These bills will also include a sunset clause, allowing them to expire. Governor Nome says the coronavirus pandemic will have a significant impact on the state's budget. I'm telling the legislators that I will sign bills that we did for the budget and sign them into law, but I'm not going to spend that money. Uh, we're going to probably come back in June and have a special session and make some changes that are very significant to our state budget. In Sioux Falls, Travis Fossing, Kelloland News. Bills to help South Dakota students are also in the works. One would deal with missed tests because of the coronavirus, and the other would require fewer days in the classroom.